All right, I'm gonna make a vegan stir fry, tofu stir fry, with um, tofu, of course, a sweet onion, four carrots, four potatoes, a sweet potato, and then I'm gonna serve it with rice, and I'm gonna use gochujang. So first I'm going to make my rice. So I'm gonna just add one cup of rice to two cups of water. And I'm gonna cook that on high. But first I gotta plug it in. All right, now it's time to cut up our tofu and then fry it. If you can't tell, I haven't cooked anything for like a week, so I'm a little, um, yeah, haven't filmed or cooked anything for like a week, so not out of practice. So I'm just going to cut up our tofu here. I'm going to rinse off my tofu too. With cold water. So I'm going to cut it into kind of thicker slices. And then fold it over, cut it into a force like that. Sometime I should show you how I make tofu. I haven't made it in years, but that would be a fun project. I don't usually make uh, the soy milk from scratch because that takes a pressure cooker and pressure cookers kind of scare me. I just don't have enough experience with them. I've only cooked uh, in pressure cookers a couple times and beans are like one of the most dangerous things to cook in a pressure cooker. so. It scares me. I have cooked soybeans in a pressure cooker before though, and what I did cook turned out great. But anyways, here's our tofu. And now we need to heat up our oil. So I'm gonna use some vegetable oil and just get enough to line the bottom of the pan. And we want it to get nice and hot, so we're going to put it at like a high 7, no, maybe a low 7, just a 7. Alright, now I'm going to start cutting up uh, the carrots and sweet potatoes and potatoes. So, I'm going to cut off the sides here. off the end of course too and let's see let's cut it into strips and cut it in half like that now you want to make sure your oil gets really hot so let it get heated up. It sounds like it's starting to get nice and hot now. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our tofu. I'm 
Mm. Not quite hot enough yet. It's starting to get there though. There we go. There we go. Now it's ready. Watch out for that splatter. Oh, and I got it. Okay, we're just gonna let that cook while we cut up our potatoes. So, cut off the sides. I'm going to cut those into smaller pieces and add those with the carrots. You want to make sure you keep an eye on your tofu so that it does not get overcooked. And now we're cutting up our sweet potato. Same thing with the other potato, cutting it up Cut off the sides. Of course, you don't have to do these fancy cuts if you don't want to, but it just, um, and you could always peel it too to reduce how much waste you have. But um, I'm just doing this real quick here. And if you do remove the peels, it will have a better texture. a long time since I made tofu. I think I might have put too much oil in. Because it's all sticking to the bottom of the pan. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, now I'm going to cut up this onion here. Cut it and do strips. I need uh, more practice frying tofu. I've done it successfully in the past. I think I just used too much oil. Oh, this is awful. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a fail. So 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep practicing on tofu. I want to get this right. Yeah, this is not working out. Okay, just as long as I can get it heated up. Well, watch me fail. <laughs> well, I have another block of tofu, so I'll do it right next time. I'll use a non-stick pan or something. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to soak that pan to get it off of there. But I'm going to add all these uh, vegetables here. Laugh at me, please. I'm laughing at myself right now on the inside, crying a little bit too. At least there'll be a little tofu crispies in there. Yeah, I definitely use too much oil, and I think I need to use a non-stick pan in the future, too. So I'm just going to let these uh, cook for a little bit here until they get nice and tender. Okay, now I'm going to add my onions. Turn this heat down a little bit. It smells good. It's going to be a little greasy though. I don't have any cans or anything to drain the grease off into. Onions get nice and well cooked, so I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit longer. Let's see if I can get some more of this oil off of here. The never-ending oil, gross. Okay, that's a little better. I'm going to add my tofu back to the pan. Mix it up in there. And then I'm going to add the rest of this goat shisha to the pan. I think I'm going to top this all with some black sesame seeds. 
I wish I had some green onions. I would put some of that on it too. Yum, it's actually looking pretty good. Greasy, but good. So I'm just gonna get a bowl of rice and scoop some of the tofu and vegetables on top. Like that. And I'm gonna sprinkle the top with black sesame seeds. So there is the gochujang tofu. A little greasy, but I'm sure it'll still taste good. Um, might not be the healthiest with so much grease, so try and cut back on the grease. But thanks for watching. Bye!